Daniel Dye, Tyler Ankrum will lead the field. Green flag is in the air. We are racing at Atlanta. A lot of questions we're going to answer in the first 10 or 15 laps. How will these trucks handle? Is the low line the fast way? What, what kind of run can you get on the outside as you see Majeski moving up? Excuse me, that's Ekas getting up to the top side, leaving those guys on the bottom to fight for themselves. So Majeski out front there in he, the 98 truck. He went to the top and Ekas followed right with him. Uh-oh, look at the bottom. Who's coming in the seven truck? That's Kyle Busch. I loved your points about, you know, you qualify fast, but what does that mean for your race truck at the start of this thing and the handling? So we'll see quickly who's got a good handling truck. Christian Eckes wants them. Trying to hold off Ty Majeski, Tyler Ingram, Lane Riggs. Ooh, Majeski drifts up. It's going to open the bottom for Christian Ingram. Eckes. He is led so far, and he takes it. He's dominated stage number one. Second year in a row for Eckes winning stage one. And of course, we know what happened last year. He went on to win, but we won't talk about the speeding penalty he had to <laughs> overcome to get it done. So Tyler Ankrum, Grant and Finger on the front row for the restart here. And stage number two is underway. Kyle Busch is going to lead that low line. Grant went up top with Ankrum. See if Kyle can have success early in the race during that first stage. Phil, he was able to make that bottom work. Fell back during the during the running of the stage, but he's right back there up, the, up there on the bottom trying. Some new faces up there. Brett Holmes. Up in the top 10 in that 32 truck. Got Corey Heim in the 11. Thad was having a great run. He was eighth at the time of this issue. That had to feel good for that young man, facing mm -hmm. the lead, facing in the lead pack. Even despite this, you know, he knows that he can run up front. Let's see if we can take a look at what happened here. Ah, uh, one of the guys that's taken that extreme high line. Is that Eckes? And he tries to squeeze in a hole. It isn't there. It just wasn't there. That's Jake Garcia, the 13 truck. I think that was Tom Jeske right in front of him. Yeah, and look how close this is. Couple of fast trucks. We talked about Garcia. We talked about Lane Riggs. And look at Sanchez there. going by the two truck on the very bottom of the apron of the racetrack. That does a great job of not letting that truck weave back up in front of that traffic. Kept her low. Looked like the 38 of Lane Riggs has some damage from that contact. Here's he just another look. Tries to squeeze in a hole that isn't there. It might have been there for a split second, and that's that's the thing that these holes close up so fast. Ooh, there's the contact right there. Oh, we got a truck going around. The 91 of Jack Wood, right? The infield grass right in front of the start finish line and the yellow flag is out for the fourth time. Look at the back of that truck. It looks like uh, might have been a push gone bad or something like that. A hard push into the back of Jack. What a what a great job Jack's been doing this year too. But a couple of tough breaks mm -hmm. late in the race at Daytona. Heck last lap gets turned and now here early. It's been really fast. That's another McAnally truck. Here he is right there. Does he try to get in a hole that's not there? He does. That's a shame. Gets into the 32, I believe. Is that Brett Holmes? And that's what we're seeing, you know, as the race goes on, trying to squeeze in. It's happened from the beginning, but trying to squeeze in holes that just aren't quite. I think this was a late ad for Kyle Busch to run this race. He was supposed to start next week at his home track in Las Vegas. And by the rules, he can only run five times. So he'll get those done in the first half of the year. I think the deal came together possibly as recent as last week for Kyle to run this race. And whenever he's in a race vehicle, he's, he's, going, he's here to win. And he's <laughs> certainly doing a great job again today. I, I just love the fight in him. You know, he, he, he lost the lead. He kept battling back on the bottom. He gained the lead and has been able to keep it. But I don't know, this thing's far from over. There's a lot of fast mm -hmm. trucks out there. Well, it's just interesting, you know, for those that may not know, Kyle Busch owned Kyle Busch Motorsports. They won 100 races in this series. 
and he sold. He sold to Spire Motorsports, and now they've asked him to come back and run five races. And Kyle said it yesterday. It's just to show kind of where they are. What's their equipment, by the way? It's Kyle Busch Motorsports trucks that they built. But where are they? How do they stack up? I think he's showing that they're doing pretty darn yes, good. Yes, they are. What a fun race so far today. 70 laps to go in the Craftsman Truck Series from Atlanta. Green flag is in the air. The third and final stage begins. Matt Mills leading them down. Dean Thompson in the five. What Great push on the inside. Is that Caden Honeycutt pushing? It is. And the five back of Dean gap. Thompson. It's a little bit more gap than Dean would want if he could choose, but hopefully Mills just comes up and gives him a push and keeps that outside line rolling. Not going to happen. Let's go the for the lead. Go for the lead. I like your attitude. Matt Mills wants that lead, and he takes it. Great job by Matt Mills. Caden Honeycutt as well. Caden Honeycutt pitted on lap 63 up there in the mix with oh. a lot of the boys that stayed out. Three wide. We didn't need that. Chase Birdie on the bottom. Three wide. Crafton's right on the back of Nick Sanchez in that too. And you see Stuart Friesen. He's going to go topside. Oh, oh he, he got, got, into, got, the he got wall. into the wall. Yeah. And I'm not sure that Tanner wide, Gray didn't, didn't get a little piece of that with his right front corner. That's a shame. He keeps it up there. Everybody makes it around him just fine. See if he could get it down to pit road. We're going to stay green right now. He comes to pit road. Beautifully executed. Stuart Friesen was 11th at the time. That more than it'll put him out of contention. He'll lose at least a couple laps, even without major damage repair. Here's a look at what happened. He Keep tried going. to sneak to the outside of Caden Honeycutt in the 45, that white truck. And you can see as he gets up there, loses the nose, and right there into the wall. And look at Gray. Just oh, missed wow. Him. What heads up driving that was. I think there's damage. Oh, there's yeah. De there's definitely some damage. And a damage. tire rub, as you can see on Tanner Gray's bet. Or maybe jump in there. Oh, oh no. no. Gets in to Grant Endfinger. I thought he was going to get up behind him. He tried to go to the bottom and get around him. Wow. Grant Another thought, good save. I know, but I'm worried about that right front tire. That was big. You see, now they're back up to speed. You're mad as heck at him at one moment. Now you got to help him. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> we can get back up there. <laughs> I'll help you. I'll get behind you and push. And watch this move. Yeah, I don't think Grant had any idea that, that Nick might stick his nose in there, but there was enough momentum for Nick's truck that if Grant, if Grant would have stayed in the middle, I think Nick would have driven right on by. I can't believe it didn't crash. I mean, Me that either. was heavy contact, and they kept it together, and now still marching forward. Yeah, definitely a situation where Grant came down. Nick started to grab that hole that was open for a moment. We're in caution as out now debris, Jamie, in turn number four. And that is the sixth caution for today. His Flies off. He's gone. got a convertible I, truck. I've never heard of that before, I don't think. Holy cow. You see that you see the roof flap still there. He was running so fast he raised the roof on that thing. I guess he'll continue like that, Amanda. That would be the deb debris that was found in turn three. Actually heard on the radio communication from Matt Kraft and Bailey Curry was in front of him and he said, hey, someone's roof is about to fly off and there it went. They'll have to go straight to the garage without a roof. Unfortunate circumstance for Bailey Curry was having a great run running top five and boom, there goes his roof. He's got a convertible, but unfortunately that's good for parking it in the garage. Two laps to go. The green flag is in the air. Dean Thompson had led officially his first career laps. He got pushed out of the way right as the flag waved. Wow, way out of the way. He was sideways before they got the green. Up till he went, Tyler Ankrum sees the lead with Kyle Busch right on his bumper. Flag right Coming to line. the white flag, Kyle Busch leads Ty Majeski, Corey Heim, Taylor Gray. Well, Nick Sanchez and his group have anything for him. One last chance here. Back up to him, Ty. Back up to that 11 truck. Not going to be able to do it, it doesn't look like. Can he dive to the bottom? There's a push. What does Ty Majeski do? He's looking, he's sniffing. Corey Heim is right there to the inside. Can he get to Kyle Busch? As Kyle Busch hangs on. Out of turn four, checkered flag. Kyle checkered, Busch man. wins Good it work. for the seventh job, time at Atlanta. Yeah. Woo-hoo! Let's go, boys.